Yes? I'm sorry for disturbing you on an important day like this. But... Have you, by any chance, seen Jack since yesterday? Uh, has something happened? He's gone. We've been looking for him all morning. He's gone? Well, yes. And I'm afraid it is my fault. I had him locked away. But in the end, I just punished anger with wrath. Well, find him then. My monks are already trawling the woods. I myself will go to Shiring, while Martha is taking a horse to a cave he used to know. Please, don't let this spoil the first day of your marriage, when there should be only reason to rejoice. Thank you. They still haven't found him. How long has he been? I haven't been counting. Well, I think he's gone for good. I love him like a brother. But first, he tries to kill me. Then he runs off, Woody and his family's sick. Are you hungry? I think I'll prepare some food. Great. I'm starving. You need any help? You could prepare the meat. Uh, how do I do that? Oh, never mind. I've got it. What are you cooking? Fermenti. What's going in it? Wheat and ale with milk, spices, venison and eggs. Huh. Well, as long as it tastes good. Um, we've been married for what? A week? I haven't been counting. Right. Feels like a lifetime already, doesn't it? Yet, we still haven't... You know... Oh, I'm sorry. I want this to work, but I need time. It's all right. Sometimes you look at me like you think your husband isn't a good man. But I am a good man. You'll see. Today, I was thinking about what you and Philip did for our workers when they were afraid that they wouldn't be paid. Offering them coin to make them stay and feel safe. What if I did something similar? How about 
I could offer them pay in case something happens. Like an insurance. What do you think? That would be very kind. I want to suggest it to the prior tomorrow. He said he'd come over around noon tomorrow. Maybe he could eat with us. And you, um, you could help me explain the idea. If you want. I think... I think it would be good for you to do something other than cooking and weaving. You haven't left the house in two weeks. You're right. I'd be glad to help. Ah, oh, great. Would you like venison with it? No, thank you. I am just here to talk. Aesthetic as always, I see. It just turns more and more into a habit, really. So, you are suggesting that we promise the workers money if the construction is not completed? Yes, as an insurance. Since the fleece fair, they've been quite worried. It would ease their minds a bit. Yes, especially since they'd know they don't have to finish the cathedral in order to get rich. It sounds to me like we would be tempting them to fail deliberately. Hmm. I hadn't thought about that. Don't be so cynical, Philip. I'm not. It's just... It's just so hard to encourage goodness these days. We tried so hard in the last few years, yet all we reaped is death and misery. The alternative would be to do nothing at all. I think it's not a bad idea. We wouldn't promise them too much, just enough to help them get by till they find new work. It would ease their minds a bit. Yes, you said that. Your idea shows great compassion. Alfred. Thank you, Father. It's very rare these days to find spirits who still believe in the good of people. Unfortunately. <sighs> I could never promise them coin, because one cannot give what one does not have. Ever since the market collapsed, Kingsbridge is losing more than it earns. We may even run out before we complete the cathedral. What? He's right. It won't be finished. But... What about Mother? We wanted to build it for her. Could you build faster? Finish it before you run out of money? Is that an option? Master Builder, you've been awfully quiet so far. <laughs> it's hard to say. But yes, Alfred could look at the designs. Could be there's shortcuts that could be taken. Um, not much help yet, but I'll do what I can. I can do it. All right. I promise you, I will think about your proposal. Oh, um, milady, your soup.
Thank you. I'd never thought that my brother could work so hard. He really cares about Kingsbridge. I would never have thought, really. Alfred has changed. He used to be such a bully. He seems really concerned about things now. About Kingsbridge, about you, about your family. I can't wait for you to give me a little nephew or niece. Well, enough about Alfred. Did you get the blue dye I've been asking for? Actually, I did. It's from a woad merchant in Winchester. It took me some time to find him. Oh, thank you so much, Martha. I guess now I finally have to finish my weaving. How's it going? I find it hard to sit down and be patient these days. What does Sir Richard think of the idea? I haven't told him yet. When he comes here, he's mostly interested in coin. But that's the deal. He fights and I pay. It's an endless circle. The coat of arms shall remind us of who we are and where we come from, so we don't end up losing purpose. Have you decided on an animal yet? You really should have an animal on it. It will sport a lion. Wow, that's a strong animal. I like that. Ali, I'm so sorry that I mentioned wanting a niece. I just thought in the last month that you were, well, growing a bit. Oh, <laughs> I'm just getting fat. You're not getting fat? You forget that there's not a lot for me to do other than sit around and eat. Then we should take a hike soon. Stretch your legs and get some sunshine. I'd like that. I would like that a lot. But not today. I need to finish the coat of arms first. Get it done while I still can. I don't know what to do anymore. I had to marry Alfred to fulfill my oath. I wish that Jack would have understood. Love alone could never stop William Hamley. Only money and influence. With Alfred as a husband, I can fulfill my father's last wish. And ever since we've been married, he's been working deep into the nights to finish the cathedral. And when he's home, he expects nothing in return. Although I can see so much longing in his eyes. He does whatever he has to do, yet none of it pleases me. Still, I try to be a good wife. I did what I had to do when I married him. But what I didn't know back then was that... 
I am pregnant with your grandchild. You brought this on yourself. You had the love of your life, but you threw it away. Do you scorn me for what I did? No more than anyone else. First and foremost, I blame that priest who turned my son into a monk. But you're a very close second. What if I brought Jack back? Oh, Aliena. <sighs> Jack has left England. There's no possible way to find out where he went. I want you to know one thing. Jack loved you. For me, that makes you still family. If you can't have his baby, give it to me. I will raise it far away from this crooked world that had no room for my son. I don't want to give our child away. Then you cannot stay here. You cannot go on like this. But I have to. Don't you understand? It's finished. I want you to wear it when you go to battle. To remind us of what we are fighting for. Huh. Why a lion? Because it's a noble and proud animal. It symbolizes what we should ceaselessly strive to be. You hear that, Alfred? I'm a lion. Rawr! <laughs> Grow up, Richard. This is important. Sorry. How's the war going, by the way? How is your standing with the King? It's getting better and better. The good thing is, William Hamley is turning out to be quite the lousy player. In our last battle, he ran away when things started to get a bit tight. They say he was afraid to die before he settled matters with his mother. His mother? No one's seen her in years, not since her husband died. But rumour has it she's still alive and joyfully pulling his strings. Mention her to William, and he goes as pale as a sheep. Ali, we are so close, but we need to be careful. We mustn't let our guard down. Is there anything you need from me, Richard? Well, a new saddle would be nice. I'll see to it. And a horse to put it on, of course. The last one caught quite a few arrows. Right. I'll be out for a while. I've got some business at the market with Martha. All right. I can't believe you two have almost done it. You've almost won your father's earldom back. Oh, don't say that until it's actually happened. I'll see you later in the evening. Ah, there you are. I always wondered what it would have been like to grow up in a forest. Oh, it's cold. Very, very cold. When I was young, I spent a night in Ellen's cave. If it hadn't been for her soup, I would have died for sure.
What kind of soup? I think it had deer in it. Deer? Yes. Jack had caught it before we met him. I think it was the only one he ever caught. But hunting deer is... I know. It's punishable by death. Jack never was one for rules and laws. <laughs> right. He was always busy with something. Just not with what Tom asked him to do. Jack? Yes. Yes, he was. You will be an aunt soon. What? But don't tell Alfred. I haven't told him yet. You still think marrying him was a mistake? I do. I do too. But you did it for very good reasons. So, maybe it wasn't a mistake after all. Maybe it will work. Not in a loving way, but more like a partnership. You two seeing eye to eye to each other. Mm, maybe. But the baby is not... What was that? They built it too fast. Like the Babylonians, they sought to be grander than God, and for this we all have to suffer. A stone roof. Alfred tried to build a stone roof without telling Papa. You're with child. H how, how can you be with child if we never... My cub is gone and will never return. You threw it all away for a life of lies and a kingdom of dust. Without a cathedral, my mother will spend an eternity in hell. And by God, I hope you won't suffer the same fate for this. I can't stay. Not without work. And not like this. I'm sorry. Shh. Shh. There's no need to cry. Hmm? There, there. We've been crying for far too long now. Ah, <sighs> where do we go from here? We will build a cathedral right here, towering high above Shiring. But it will not be a cheap undertaking. Money is no object. I shall build it for our Lord and my mother, so that the Lord will heal her. I am sure he will. Ah, yes, there he is. Who? We will need a master builder. My bishop, I think I have the right man. My bishop, my name is Alfred Builder. <laughs> 